HTC promised us the Android Oreo update for the HTC U11 before the end of the year. And guess what? The Android Oreo update is live for the HTC U11. So if you have an HTC U11, go check for the software updates. You should be receiving your Android Oreo update. With the Android Oreo update, HTC has added few features to the HTC U11. And here are some of those new features. So the first change you will see with the entire system is the new rounded icons you get with the Android Oreo and also the new white shades all over the system rather than the black shade you had in the HTC U11 Nougat update. The HTC Sense launcher has got some few new gestures. So now if you want to check your notifications or go to the shortcuts panel, all you have to do is just swipe down in your home screen and then that will bring up the notification panel along with the shortcuts panel. And if you want to go to your app drawer, you don't have to press the app drawer button. Instead, you can just swipe up and that will take you to the app drawer. And if you're on the first screen in the app drawer, swipe down again and that will take you to the home screen. Another thing if you notice in the home screen is the icon badges, the dot that you see in the icons on your home screen. And those appear if you have any notifications. And with Android Oreo update, the shortcuts menu has also gotten some few updates to how it looks when you long press an icon. For example, if I long press an icon that has a dots, I not only see those shortcuts, but also the notifications. So here you can see I have four notifications in my Slack app. And if I long press my Google icon, I will see the notification from my Google app as well, along with the Google shortcuts. And it's pretty easy to configure this if you want to enable or disable this icon badge if you don't like them. So all you have to do is long press the icon and then press on the I button and that will take you to the app information page. There you will see a lot of options, but the one that we are interested in is the app notifications. And there you will find whether you want to allow the notifications from this app and then allow the icon batch. So if you disable that, that will basically disable the icon batch in the home screen. Now, if you want to disable the icon batch for all of the apps, you can do it. However, it's not straightforward. But here is how you can go and change so that all of the apps do not have the icon batch. So go to your settings, go to the search, and then type icon, and that should give you the allow icon badges. Tap on that, and now you have the option to say allow icon badges and just toggle that to not have it. And now if you go to your home screen, you won't have any of those badges. But if I go back and enable the icon badges, I will get back the icon badges on my home screen. Now, as I told you, you won't find this option if you go browse the settings menu anywhere in any of those options. So the only way to find this is if you go to the search and then type icon and then you will get the allow icon badges option from where you can now enable disable the icon badges for all of the apps in your HTC U11. This could be a bug, I'm not sure, but this is how you do it in Pixel. And I hope HTC basically fixes this so we can have this option right away here somewhere in one of those settings. Along with these updates to the notification, you also get another update, which is pretty cool. So if you swipe down to your notification and then swipe right or left, you will get an option to remind about this notification or snooze this notification for an hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes or two hours. Now along with per notification, you can also do this for many other apps too. So go to your settings and then go to the accessibility, which is just right here. And then you will have the option for unread notification reminder. And once you turn it on, it will basically ask you to remind me the time period that you want to choose here. So if you say remind me every 15 seconds, it will then vibrate and remind you about that notification, regardless of what app it is, that you still have an unread notification in your notification tray. You can always double tap to wake up your phone to check for any notifications. With the Android Oreo update, you can also just tap on the fingerprint sensor and that will also wake up your phone. It's pretty handy considering it's just one tap versus the two tap that you want to do on the screen. So to configure this, you can go to your settings and then fingerprint scanner. 
and you'll have the option to enable this wake up screen if you already have a fingerprint configured just make sure that you don't place the entire fingerprint on your fingerprint scanner rather just you know halfway there or just tap on it rather than placing your finger completely and that will wake up the screen this is one of the cool features added to the Android Audio update for HTC U11. So now you got an Edge launcher that you can launch from your Edge Sense. So for example, if I hold and squeeze, I have configured for the Edge launcher to come up. And here I can have lots of shortcuts, whether that's texting my friends and family or any other apps that I need. And I can decide how much ever I want to have here in this shortcut panel. Along with that, on the top, I also have a quick glance on the calendar as well. The first thing you have to do to get the Edge Launcher is configure the Edge Sense to launch the Edge Launcher. So you go to your settings and then go to the Edge Sense and depending on the option, so here I have the advanced mode enabled and I'm going to configure this for customized squeeze and hold action. And there on the action, you will find the Edge Launcher. And once you select that, now what happens is if you squeeze and hold for my setting, you will get the edge launcher. And if you are using your right hand instead, all you can do is just, you know, push the edge launcher on the right and that will basically put the edge launcher to launch from right. And if you just pull again and push it towards your left and that will launch from the left as well. And to configure all of these shortcuts, you know, tap on the settings button. And here you'll have three options, edit edge launcher, the launcher position and the scroll interaction. The launcher position basically allows you to configure how further away you want, whether it's left or the right. But if you want to move to your left, all you have to do is push it to the left and the same for the right. But the setting here only configures the position of the level, so how deep or how further away you want the launcher to go, but not the left or right. And the other one is scroll interaction. So basically there are several panels. And if you notice, if I long press and bring up my edge panel, I do one swipe and it goes to the next panel. So this is the panel interaction. If I want to change this to just free form, I can do that here as well. So if I select the free scroll, and now if you see it basically just, you know, scrolls all the way as it doesn't really remember it's a panel. So depending on your choice, you can choose to have whether the panel scroll or the freeform scroll. And the final thing is actually going and editing those apps and shortcuts. So tap on the edit edge launcher. Here you will find the ability to configure the panel. And here I have two panels so I can add another panel and now I'll get all of these places where I can add my shortcuts. I can choose from the apps. So all I have to do is tap on the plus and then tap on the app I want and that will basically replace that empty space. So if I do this for every space that I have and that will basically fill up my panel for the edge launcher. So once I do this, I can basically now go back, launch my panel again and you will see that I have now three panels and since I have the free form scrolling, there is actually no panel but you can see the new apps I added here with the Android Central app, Absolutely Wallpapers app and Chrome app as well. So the Edge Launcher is really cool. You can basically put how much ever shortcuts you want here. And I like that it gives me a quick glance of the month as well. Now this is very similar to the Edge panel in the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and S8 phones. But let's see how further HTC can take this Edge panel considering that now it has you know, debut with the Oreo update. With the Oreo update for the U11, you also get the picture in picture and supported apps. So for example, here in the YouTube, if you're watching a video and then you just want to go to your home screen or go to another app, you can always do the, you know, multi-window mode. So you can keep watching the YouTube while you can basically open up the other app here. But there is also another option. Now with the picture in picture, you can just press the home screen and that will basically bring the YouTube app into a small draggable window that you can move around anywhere in your screen and basically put it there so you can keep watching the video while you go and browse other settings or other apps in your phone. 
and there are a few options if you want to quickly pause the video or move to the next in the case of YouTube just just tap on that window and that will give you the option to pause or move to the next playlist item or basically you know close the window and if you want to maximize it just tap on the maximize icon and that will maximize the app to full screen so this works in few apps so if you want to find which of your apps actually have picture in picture enabled go to your settings and then go to the apps and then tap this three dotted menu configure apps and then come down to the special app access and there you'll have the picture in picture option tap on that to see the apps that support picture in picture as if you are into monitoring the battery usage and trying to find out which apps use most of your battery, you can do that very easily with the Android Oreo update in the U11. So to find that information, go to your settings and then go to the battery, which is just down below here. And then on the three dotted menu, you have the option to show full device usage, which will be your default. You'll see your usual battery usage with screen on time and phone idle, Android system and things like that. But if you want to see the new one which shows you app usage, you can tap the three dotted menu again and then tap on show app usage. And now that will give you more option. You can basically see per app what is the screen usage and how many percentage of battery it has drained so far. So if you go to the Chrome app, it will basically now give you the option to say while in active use, it's been, you know, six minutes and it hasn't been used in the background, but battery usage has been 4% of total app usage. So it's really cool to see the stats if you really are into the battery usage and trying to find out how apps are using the battery in your U11. Other than that, if you are, you know, just want to go back and keep it simple, you can tap on the three dotted app icon again and then tap on show full device usage and that will take you back to the usual battery status menu. Overall, the Android Oreo updates feels like a solid update with so many improvements to the HTC U11. So I hope you will enjoy the Oreo update as much as I'm enjoying mine. If you're looking for all of the top tips and tricks that you can do with the HTC U11 along with these tips and tricks for the Oreo update, make sure you watch the top tips and tricks video for the HTC U11 in my channel. I will link the video in the description below. If you have any comments or if you did find some other new features, make sure you leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Until next time, bye.